So Kiki has been super cute and clingy all morning. Like I was in bed for a little bit and she just kept rubbing up against me and climbing all over me. And just now while I was editing the vlog, she was laying on my lap, but now she's awake and she's being all cute. She just keeps rubbing her face on mine. You're so adorable, baby. <laughs> and I guess Midna was being super clingy with Christian while Kiki was in the bedroom being clingy with me. Christian was out on the couch playing Fallout and Midna was being all cuddly. Mm -hmm. Looks like she wants to go back to sleep now. You done with all your face rubbing? All your face rubbing? I'm gonna sit down here. I need to go shower though now that the vlog is up. Yeah. Butt in my face. Look how dark it is! I feel like it's brighter on the camera screen than it is in real life. Uh, anyway, I'm kind of in the process of tidying while knocking stuff on the ground while making some more fajitas. Do, 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 do. Oh, are you playing with this box of frosted flakes? Oh, there's a baby in it! <laughs> That just squishes herself in there. How cute! Look at you. Adorable baby. My hands probably smell like onions and stuff. <laughs> Here, Kiki, squeeze into this teeny tiny one. Nah, it's too small. Oh, she's trying! Ah! Poor baby. I brought out a bigger box and now Midna went in there. Oh, Kiki stole your spot! Kiki stole your spot! Oh, how fun is that? <laughs> Midna's like, I regret my decision. I stuffed these guys a lot more full this time. I'm not going to be able to eat all of those at once, but one can be for supper or something. But yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about my desk layout. I mean, right now it looks like it's typical messiness. <laughs> I was thinking about completely repositioning stuff because, I don't, okay, <laughs> when I got my new camera, this is what sparked these thoughts. So this piece of the desk is wider than this piece, and so there's more room front to back. But because I just have my computer monitors here, there's all this unused space in the back. Right now I've got the stereo and the baskets here. But those can move and usually the stereo is not even there to be honest. This just ends up being a place for me to pile junk. And then over here, I feel like sometimes this just isn't deep enough, especially with my new camera. I'm gonna have to start setting my tripod up on the actual desk. Cause right now I've got this tripod just leaning here. With my new camera, I'm gonna have the tripod actually standing on the desk, camera pointing down. And there's just not a whole lot of space here. And so I think it would actually work better if my computer was here and my art stuff was here. Plus, it wouldn't create this um, wall I have here, so when I'm sitting here, I can't see Christian at the couch. Like, it would kind of open up the space a little bit and not be so closed off. So, yeah, one thing I'll miss is my mouse, and mouse pad is right there, so I rest my forearm on there, but I guess I could kind of do that on this side, depending how far over I place my mouse. But yeah, that's what I want to do. That's too much work to do today because I have too much other stuff to get done. But um, I think I'm going to do that soon is just put the computer over there. Wait. Wait. How am I going to hook up my Ergotron arm then? I think there's a way to attach it where you drill it into a desk. Like, would that work? But instead of drilling a hole, like using one of the holes that are already in my desk. I'm going to have to look up different ways of mounting this because... This side of the desk does have an overhanging lip. That side does not. I got through one and a half fajitas and I could barely even manage that. Those things are huge. So, yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna keep tidying up for now. Well, right now I'm going to my computer so I can reply to an email that I saw on my phone because I'd rather reply on the computer. So that's what I'm gonna do. This tutorial. Perfect. I, I don't think there's sound in this video. I've like checked all my speakers and everything. I'm like, volume's up. Um, yeah, see, it shows them putting it through a standard desk hole. So that's what I can do. Um, 
Yeah. I can, you have to remove the bracket and you can put it through a hole in the desk. So I have one here I can use. I think, yeah, the next one over is not till the far corner. Like the far corners have one and then there's one here. So I could mount the Ergotron there. It would still rest closer to this side. And then I have my other monitor here. I really want to do this now, but I know I can't. I'm putting away some laundry and uh, I left the bedroom and came back in. And look at this adorable sight. Two sisters cuddling all cute. Oh, babies, keeping me company. Not only was I folding all the clothes that had to be washed, well, not folding, putting away, like hanging them up and stuff. I had a huge pile of stuff down here that was from the night of the bachelorette. Because I was like undecided on my outfits before, I guess it was before that night because I was, it was me messing around with outfits. So it's just like a pile of clothes here. Anyway, so stuff's finally getting hung up and I just transferred some things to the spare bedroom closet. Like summery shirts that I would not wear under a sweater or cardigan in the winter. So you could probably transfer a few more things, but... I've probably cleared out enough space for now because I'm now moving in some sweaters for the winter. Oh no, a dental licking has turned violent. All right, I just attached my new light onto my camera and it's so fancy it just sits right there and it doesn't get in the way of the lens or anything and it gives me some nice lighting directly from the front which is what i really need right now because right now i only have lights on the side and this thing has a dimmer switch so you can turn the knob and have it as bright or as dim as you want so that's pretty cool so fancy Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the Spongebob boxes that I showed yesterday because I was just reading comments on yesterday's vlog and everyone seems to think I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, okay, what I was saying is on the sides of the box, it shows the rarity of the characters. Like for this one, okay, it's not focusing. This one says 3 out of 25, this one says 3 out of 25, this says 2 out of 25, etc. So, I was like, oh, is that the rarity of them? But what I wanted to know was is that just the rarity of them in general or is that how many there are in the box because this is a box of 25 so if the odds of getting him are three out of 25 does that guarantee i'm getting three of those figures that's where i was getting confused <clears throat> plus i was further confused because if i add up the rarity of all the figures it equals 26 out of 25 which is a mathematical impossibility if you know statistics it's impossible for the odds of getting these figures like combined to be 26 out of 25 like it should be it should add up to 25 so that's why I was getting confused I was just like okay does this guarantee I'm getting that number of figures or are they still random like what if I get six of one figure and then I don't get a certain figure that's like what I wanted to know and then the whole 26 out of 25 just further confused me now I just want to open them all getting curious here just to like simplify what I'm saying about those numbers like let's say there's five cats and they're all in a box and you gotta pick a cat out of the box and that's like someone telling you you have a three out of five chance to get a black cat and you have a three out of five chance to get a white cat that doesn't make sense that doesn't add up you can't have a three out of five chance of getting both because that doesn't add up to five out of five <laughs> so that's what I meant with the whole odds of getting the figures right tiny baby let's count together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. See? Today has been a kerfuffle and I may have been uh, editing toy videos instead of doing what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs>
Um, okay, just had to brush it out. It's looking not good. Ow, 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 ow. I just stepped on the spikes of my spiky shoes. <sighs> and they were they weren't down like this, they were up like this, and I somehow stepped sideways right onto the spikes. That really hurt. Anyway, what I was going to say <laughs> is that okay, let me just put this bobby pin back in my hair. Because now my bangs are driving me insane. I tweeted it out this morning, but I failed to mention it in the vlogs. But I got Twitch partnership, which is pretty exciting. It's kind of like YouTube partnership, where you can monetize your live streams. And so, that's pretty cool. Plus you just get some added features, and I can get a sub button, which gives me custom emotes for my chat. That kind of stuff. So, I don't know, it's pretty cool. I'm a little bit in denial because I didn't think I would ever become a Twitch partner because I used to stream weekly back in the day but it seemed like they wanted people who streamed mo even more often than that and I wasn't pulling in the kind of numbers you need for partnership and then um, I started doing my art live streams on there because before they, it was strictly gaming now like, you can only do gaming streams on Twitch and eventually I started seeing people in the creative category streaming their art and so I contacted Twitch I was like is this allowed like I don't want my account to get shut down and they're like yeah, you can stream yourself drawing as long as it's gaming related. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense for a gaming platform, but still kind of bummed to have that restriction. But then the creative category just boomed and people were drawing all kinds of things and it kind of became a thing. And so I was like, oh, well then I'm going to do it. And so I have done art streams on Twitch, but I haven't streamed on Twitch in ages. <laughs> It's probably been several months since I've last live streamed, except for the last two that I just recently did. So I came back for one live stream, announced it on YouTube, got a ridiculous amount of viewers, and um, a Twitch staff member messaged me about becoming a partner and whatnot, and I responded to her, but she never replied back. <laughs> And it had been a week, so I was like, um, I'm just going to apply on my own and see what happens. So I did, and it was kind of a risk because I had only streamed once. One thing they look for is people who stream often and have consistently a good view count. And so I didn't have those statistics, obviously. I was like, um, I've streamed once since I came back from my hiatus. But look, I had lots of viewers. Because they, they do mention on the partnership page, there's like kind of two boxes. It's like either you are on Twitch and you have a big following or maybe you're a newcomer to Twitch and you have a big following elsewhere that you can bring to Twitch. And so that's like what I mentioned. I was like, well, I guess I fall under the newcomer category because I've been gone from Twitch for a long time. So I was like, I guess I kind of fall under that. Like I have 300,000 subscribers, blah, blah, like kind of did my pitch and I guess it worked. And so, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> so it fits in perfectly because I had been planning to up my live streaming schedule like I've talked about in the vlogs. I would ideally have an art live stream and a gaming live stream every week. And um, sometimes gaming ones might get put aside for art ones or if a new Pokemon game or something comes out, I might be live streaming a lot, <laughs> like a lot of extra live streams. So, um... Yeah, but anyway, I like wanted to get into this schedule, and then, I don't know, I just felt like it escalated because I was not expecting to get contacted by that person, and so I was like not expecting to even apply for partnership anytime soon, but it just happened, and I was like, oh, and it, you know, it just so happens to work with my schedule that I want to get into, so that's pretty cool, and it's kind of exciting, and uh, my channel isn't converted to a partner channel yet because I had to sign some forms and stuff, but like they've accept, they've told me I'm accepted and I've filled out tax forms and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, the email said it would take two to three business days for them to like process the paperwork and um, get my channel converted to a partnered one. So that's pretty cool. So thank you to all of you who've come to my live streams or even if you just wished you could have been there. Um, it helped me get partnerships, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah.
for the best interest of the girls. That's why I hate to give them back. It's like we did all this work for a month. And then... It's time for the SpongeBob joke of the day. Patrick, why have you been staring at the carton of orange juice for three hours? It says concentrate. I look weird. I look like a crazy person. Or maybe it just cause it looks like my bottom eyelids are dark or something. <laughs> it's probably residual makeup from yesterday. Anyway, um, I signed all the prints, 282 of them, and got them all bagged. And, um, uh-huh. So I made, pr I made, that's like one of the most time consuming things. And so I'm so glad I got that done. And uh, I'll have to finish up um, packaging tomorrow and get all the Patreon stuff sent out. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed now because I don't want it to be a crazy late night tonight. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, just pause the music so I can vlog a little bit more. Here's progress on the picture. The background will probably get darkened a little more. I'm not even sure what I'm doing with it. Everybody say hi. <laughs> right now we have 1,284 people here, so that is awesome.